Hey, Vlog Watchers, Steve Petrusky here on the Lander team. So excited about Halloween that's just around the corner, and so I decided for this vlog that I'd wear my costume. The, the topic for today is going to be four costs that you should take into account when purchasing a home. The first cost is going to be your inspections. Now, anytime uh, you as a buyer are looking to purchase a home, there are gonna be some inspection costs that come into play. Now, those are optional. You can choose to not do those, or you can choose to do those, and I would highly encourage, no matter what house you get, whether it's new construction or resale from 1980, 1990, that you do an inspection. And those inspections include home, home inspection, termite inspection, maybe even a well inspection. Sometimes it's great to make sure that you are inspecting the home completely from top to bottom to make sure you're getting what you're paying for. So a typical home inspection is gonna run you about 300, depending on the size of the house. Now a termite inspection, depending on what company, you could see those anywhere from 35 up upwards. Uh, sometimes a well inspection can be over $100. So I'd encourage you to make plans if you're going to be purchasing a home to check in on the inspection costs. Now also there's an earnest money deposit that's going to be needed when you purchase a home and typically earnest money is good faith money. You're letting the seller know that with this contract I'm pretty serious so I'm going to put some money down. Typically here in our area we're seeing anywhere between 500 to 1,000, but more recently we're seeing about $1,000. Now you're also gonna run into uh, closing costs. Closing costs are gonna be something that you're gonna want to discuss with your lender as you go through, depending on if you're getting a USDA, an FHA, a VA loan. Uh, those closing costs could possibly change or fluctuate, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you save up for some of those as well. Now one of the other costs that's gonna come into play, as you can see here, is gonna be your moving costs. Uh, if you're depending on how far you're moving, uh, whether you're moving locally in town or whether you're moving cross country, some of those expenses are going to be your U-Haul costs. Maybe your if you're coming from across country, going to be professional movers, which could cost a couple thousand dollars. It could be your fuel costs, your hotel costs, your gas costs, uh, any of those things that might come into play. So when you're planning on moving, make sure that you are accounting for some of those costs as well. Also want to encourage you to uh, pay attention to additional costs. Those could be costs that um, you could be charged for setting up your utilities, from changing over your electric or your gas or your cable fees, whatever those might be. You might have HOA, HOA transfer fees, you might have septic transfer fees, but all in all, you're gonna have some additional costs when purchasing a, a home. So I'd encourage you to make sure you account for those as you begin that process with your agent. Make sure you talk about earnest money. Make sure you talk about inspection money. Make sure you talk about closing costs and any additional fees that might come into to play depending on what property you might be purchasing. Now, before I let you go, I want to give a huge shout out to Danny and Heidi Asplin over there at Pesty Pest Control. Uh, they do an incredible job of making sure bugs stay away from your home. So if you're looking for a bug company to help uh, eliminate bugs around your property, give them a call. Their number is 928-753-7111. Huge shout out again to Danny and Heidi Aspen over there at Pesty Pest Control. Well, once again, thanks so much for checking our blog out. Look forward to helping you purchase a home and helping explain some of these additional costs that might come into play. Have a great day.